Hi guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. Ken, he was an NPC, a main character. What have you done? Alright, let's go. Fuck, I can't reach. Don't give a fuck. You're such a bad boy. Hey, where are we oh. going now? I don't actually know. I mean, there's a Can door go over this there. Way? Let's go to the door. I don't think there's anywhere else to go, really. Well, we solved the case of the weird-ass kid. The guy who was in prison for being a dickhead, so we freed him and killed him because he's a dickhead. Budge. Won't budge. Not even an inch. <laughs> Tail shut. Won't even budge an inch. Oh, dude, we're in prison now. Oh, dude, there, there's there's source cum on the ground. And how do we get the fuck past this? Whoop, Sabiel against the... Oh, Sabiel, touch it. No? Sabiel's uh, spidey senses aren't tingling. There's probably a... Hmm. Maybe a switch in there somewhere. I mean... Oh, wait, wait I, I I know what to do. One sec. Maybe she doesn't have high enough... What's? No, that's really literally nothing here. Alright, well, I guess we lost. I wonder if we can throw us terrible pyramid through this hole. Yeah, you do that. I mean, do we really want to be in here? This is the prison. Oh, uh, they're talking. Uh, uh, do you think we're allowed in here? Uh, apparently tension is low, so... Well, let me get that sauce. Alright, go ahead. Uh, I'll, I'll go talk in case there's like a persuasion check or something. Uh, hello. Which I could totally make now. I am just visiting pri- I'll talk to this person. How do you Who are do? You? Did Lord Kem send you about the missing prisoners? Missing prisoners? Ask if she looked in Fort Joy. These were no sorcerers. These were thieves and drunkards, imbeciles and liars, heretics and fools. The good people of Arx, in other words. They did not go to Fort Joy. They vanished. Uh, tell you a disturbing truth. The prisoners were used for grotesque experiments by an agent of the Black Ring, operating deep beneath the city. All the prisoners are dead. Her jaw drops. She struggles to process the news. You saw this with your own eyes? I see it in you. You did. I... I... This is abhorrent. Outrageous. Evil. Someone should pay. Someone should pay dearly for this. Uh, ask how she knows there are prisoners missing. Can't prove a negative. The jailer's records are clear. 564 men and women were signed in and never signed out again. I'd say this was an oversight in record keeping, but I know some of those names. And they are nowhere to be found. Hmm. Be right. sure that we won't let this lie. You believe what they were doing down there? That's some dark business. Damien himself would have been proud. Are we allowed to loot everything? Nice. <laughs> yeah, boy. Did you max Lucky Charm now? No. What the fuck? I thought you were the looting king. Okay, that much looting. I just care about looting. Uh, Magister prisoner just uh, spit at me. Piss off, paladin scum. Warn him to watch his mouth. Why? What will you do? Kill my friends and lock me up. Go and die. Uh. This is a waste of time. The magisters are long gone. There's no one left down here. Alright, well, I guess we've done it all. In this place, at least. I'll head, uh, I'll head up. Okay. Ah, oh, nice. Arcs. I was, what, who the fuck's this? Come on. Damn you. Stop bleeding. The paladin presses a wad of fresh bandages upon a steadily bleeding leg wound. For a moment, it seems to work. But then, the bleeding suddenly gets worse. Damn it. Uh, note that the, such a wound is serious, but it shouldn't be bleeding like that. Something's amiss. The paladin grits her teeth and readjusts her grip on the wound. I'll be a mist from this world soon, if this bleeding doesn't slow. 
Uh, offer her a healing, healing potion. My thanks. This is just what I need. The potion takes effect, but then your ear catches the faintest sound of angry whispers and the bleeding suddenly intensifies. The paladin claps her hand over the wound in an effort to stem the flow of blood. What's going on? It looks like it's nearly stopped. Then it just starts again. How did it, do you get the wound? One of the magisters didn't know when he was beaten. Drove a spear into my knee. He should have aimed higher, though. I didn't give him a chance to land a second blow. I mean, she's cursed, and I know how to fix that. Or do, you, do you have it? Uh, do you have it? Do you want me to do it? Yeah, sure. I don't want to do it with bees, because he uses his stuff. I use it with uh, Ivan. <laughs> you're, you're, you're just a source Bleeding thing for stopped. you. Thank you. Ah, uh, okay. The paladin is still trying to stem the flow. Cursed. All right, just went again. Uh, just again. She said thank you, and then I went went back again. Let me try it and then talk to her. All right. The bleeding. The paladin is still trying nope. to stem the flow. Just goes again. Let me talk I tried to her. One of your potions already. I mean, it's just not working. She's. It's not working. Oh well, there's nothing we can do to save her. Okay. Stopped. Thank you. Wait. No. Oh, it's there. There we go. Stop bleeding. No, she says like afterwards, like oh, it starts again. The not just like it's not working; it's just, it keeps going. Upon a okay, yeah, it's, leg wound. I, I've, I've a moment, heard all that. It seems to work, but then yes. the bleeding suddenly gets worse. The bleeding suddenly gets worse. So that this is uh they had a good Friday night over here. Excellent party. Oh, uh, hey rat. The rat skitters around your ankles in excitement. You help me, mistress, please. These blue cloaked beasts are keeping her locked in a cage underground. Please, Harry, she'll be grateful. Tell the rat you'll save her as mistress but you need to know where exactly where she is. The holding mistress in the prison downstairs, asking her questions. She's locked in a cage, a cage of metal bars, but of magic as well. So that you know who the mat, mat, rat's mistress is, first of all. Go below, see for yourself. She's a kind of wise mistress, but she needs help. And what do you? What, what's in it for us if you help her? The mistress is the most generous of mistresses. She'll give you anything she has if you help her. But please, hurry! Oh, we actually got a quest for this. Uh. Well, there's someone who's locked up in like a magical bars too. I'll do painting with Alexander. Sweet. Just for collecting those. Yeah, we're at the. Do we? Yeah, we have the the waypoint for the city square. So we've already been here, ish. Oh, this guy's a flaming sword. I want that. In Lucian's holy name, we gather here today to see justice done. He's about to execute one of his own. You have been declared guilty of insubordination. You approach, but the paladin's icy blue eyes never move from his prisoner. I saw him turn, turn around. You are interrupting a paladin court, stranger. You couldn't call this a court until the end of days, Kim. It's still a disgrace. I could trade with the prisoner. Oh no, that's Lord Kim. Never mind. The prisoner will be silent. Ask him what the paladin is accused of. We are beyond accusations. This once paladin is guilty of refusing orders and protecting supporters of the Black Ring. They were boys. Local boys that signed up for steady pay in a slick uniform. A couple of white traitors doesn't mean every magister is in league with the ring. At best, you are a coward. At worst, you are a traitor. In either case, the sentence is death. Uh, I'll probably save it. Step between the prisoner and Cam. He can't do this. His icy eyes focus on you for the first time, pinning you with a freezing look. Step aside, stranger. Declare they can't do this. It isn't right. Oh, what? Needed 99? Needed 99? <laughs> Shit. I am the Paladin Grand Master, the last hope of the Divine Order. I have every right to purge traitors from our ranks. Uh, wonder what Lucian will do. Surely he has a wisdom to show mercy. Kem pauses for half a moment, his eyes flickering to the troops around him. Perhaps. Even in war we may find space for mercy. Very well. She will not die today. The paladin looks at you as Kem turns away and silently mouths, thank you. 
Nice. And the rest uh, of you have your duties. Move. Oh, uh, now she's just in there. Uh... Oh. Shit. I accidentally said something to inactive or something. So. That's it. They respared her life. Oh, cool. I'll take that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Well, why do they waste so much? Oh, yeah, this is where we are. I remember this. It's spooky. So apparently there's... Uh, let's see here. I mean, the oh, rat... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, yeah, here we go. A rat to help its mistress who is imprisoned in the cells beneath the barracks. Uh, let's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at some of the people down in here because I don't think I looked enough. Oh, to the cells. Alright, let's go to the cells. Uh, this way's off limits. Oh, is it? Stay back. It's for your own good. Uh, look beyond the the door. Who are, who or what is behind it? Hmm. Found hey, these pants good for you. Here, already chained up by the magisters. They say she's a witch. I say. Her voice freezes into a harsh whisper. I say she's a demon. Uh. Not understanding. They're uh, they're holding this witch prisoner then. Damn right. Lucian spoke of creatures like this Windigo. They spread their black magic to our children with songs and stories. Makes me sick. Our little ones, tools of demons. Tell her she uh, you've encountered this Windigo. It was not a pleasant event. You know this, this trickster. Uh. Say it, you've wandered high in uh, well, wits? I don't know. Clearly, you can help the paladins. Windigo's talents are no match for your own. Oh, well, go on then. Probably doesn't matter who breaks her, so long as she gets broken. Alright, so you're gonna look at pants. Just keep your head on straight. She'll try to make nice. Creep into your thoughts. Keep her out of there, alright? Uh. Basically, I, was gonna, I got ambushed by uh, an NPC. Who was like, thank you. I was like, oh, I guess just one line of dialogue is like, just, thank you for saving that paladin. Uh. And gave me a crest award. And I was like, uh, the pants maybe. Alright. Because it's a no. No, I, t I took the. No, no, I, I gave you my old pants. Oh, so they weren't great. Good. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking to. What's this? Who are you? This game's version of Sauce Hunter. With any more interruptions today. Give me room, lizard. She cradles her head in her hands, then pivots towards the prisoner. Her mouth opens, yet nothing spills forth. No sermon, no screed, no threat. She turns back to you and grimaces. Too late. The spark's been snuffed. I trust you come bearing gold or godhood for me to have interrupted such a sensitive interrogation. Uh... Point to the jail and dead. What is her crime? What led to this freak's imprisonment is a mystery as unsolved as the void itself. We found her already caged, cursing the magisters with hexes vulgar enough to turn even a dwarf's cheeks red. The evil is strong in her. Her words are soaked in it. They squirm into your mind, planting warm memories you've never had. Mesmerizing you with candy sweet sights and scents. Visions of Windigo's attack on the vessel sailing to Fort Joy fill your head. You look to the cell, and your memories contort and coil. Windigo cradles you in her arms, stroking your head as the waves crash around you. I'm sorry, Buttercup. I was bewitched by his promise. Forgive me. You shake your head, and the vision is gone. Your eyes rest not on the prisoner, but on the paladin. Ah. Uh. Uh, waver aside, you like to take over this interrogation. You underestimate her. You'd have me stand idle as she raises arcs to the ground. In that moment, you hear music, a lullaby. You glance at the cage. Windigo stands silent. You squint and shiver until the melody no longer echoes in your ears. Rest your hand on her shoulder. You won't let the, her or her people come to harm. I... I understand. Perhaps you are as dangerous to her as she is to us. There can be no success without risk. I will give you 
the space you need, then. May Lucian be your guide. Things are under control. For now. Alright, we can talk to Wendigo now. Billy at the time. Yep. Hello, Soul Santa. Or something. She's not talking to me. Fuck. Is she looking at me? She talking does she wanna to talk to you? I only Uh what's the what's the quest say? So I think we're just trying to Maybe I'll maybe I'll let her let her go. You reach your hand towards the device and your inner sword. I just don't want to talk to me either. As if you'd never rid yourself of that cursed collar. Sacrifice your source to the machine, perhaps you can overload it. You close your eyes and focus. You feel the source in you pulse, first faintly, then with the strength of a leather skin drum. Uh, how many how many source points should I give up? <laughs> uh, let me give it the one I have. Alright. Yeah, I don't know me. Change my mind. No, go. Go, go. Yeah, give, give dwarfs. To go to be a bitch. Fine, I'll fucking. I'll, fine, I'll do your it. Your hand goes numb as you close I'll do your, too. your source drains into the machine. It dims ever so slightly, but Should the shield three. remains steadfast. Maybe if I your do another one. Your hand goes numb as you close your eyes and focus. You feel focus the source what? something within the device grates and groans, yet the cell's shield holds. All right. The machine sputters and you close your eyes. Two the more. device crackles and pops, then whines. Ah, uh, it's four. The shield surrounding the cell flickers off. Come to me, sweet. She steps forward slowly <laughs> but confidently. Why are you talking she to holds out her <laughs> hands, bony palms up. They emit no fire, no ice, no curse. The God King no longer grants me his favor. Mask ripped from me and flesh flayed to bone, because the God Woken still walks Rivalon. Now he's chosen another. I should hate you for what you've done to me. Hate you for the hell I've lived. But I hate him so, so much more. He loved me when I was useful. He cast me out when you failed to die. Go to the new Chosen. See that he suffers. See that the God King suffers. In your name and in mine. This creature, this monster, would have seen us drowned at sea. Kill her. <laughs> uh, Damn it, she speaks. Speaks of another protege of the God King. We must let her speak. Uh, she was truly with the God King and turned against him. She could prove to be a valuable ally. Uh, oh, uh, and Seville can, I can choose Seville's thing. <laughs> Are you going, is anyone going to eat that? <laughs> uh, I won't harm you. Trying times change us all, for worse and for better. Neither of us are inclined to mercy. Let's make the most of this moment, shall we? The Covenant, it sounds, sounded so beautiful. Eternity right there at my fingertips. Yet it's all a lie. There is no grand reward, no enduring prosperity. Just slavery within the void. The rule of a hellish hand. I was so naive. The God King told me I was special. He came close and then closer still. Hearing him, feeling him, it was like crashing over a cliff and having him catch me over and over. I failed him. You just wouldn't die. Of all his punishments, the harshest was the emptiness, the lack of him. I thought if I could just regain his affection, I might taste it again. It says, do you get to the point? Who was his other chosen one that you mentioned before? Linda Kim. Uh, shit. Uh, didn't we kind of let that person go? <laughs> no, that was the one who was trying to kill the, the paladin. We convinced him not to. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah. So Okay, it's the leader. Never mind. All right, then. The God King's current beloved. No more skin in his real bones than on a peeled jackfruit. And it is not only his ear the God King whispers into. The dwarf called Isbel. She bends to the king's every whim. If you want to get to the God King, you go through Lindakem. You topple his Tower of Lies. 
that's what the present. How did she end up in the cell? The God King. He said if I could find Dallas, eliminate her, I could take my place by her side again. But Kem, he doesn't like competition. All it took was a few whispers. They spread to the Magisters quickly. The Magisters, they've got ways of silencing Source. They knew exactly what to do. The Paladins, well, when they found me, they'd no idea what to make of me. Uh, not that she's still bound by the Covenant. What happened? What comes next for her? I go to Kem. Or his estate, rather. He's got a sworn breaker size. It'll free me from the Covenant. I'd be mortal, yes, but no longer a slave. But before I go, I have something for you. A touch of void, if you will. Windigo pauses. She doesn't speak the next words, yet you hear them as clearly as a robin's song. Goodbye, Godwoken. See ya. Alright. Uh, I got Charm Voidwoken. Resisted by magic armor sets Charmed for two turns on a Voidwoken. That's a summoning ability. Gimme, gimme. Oh, uh, disembodied foot? Delicious. You are the foot. You are the foot that aches to run away. The foot that remembers the feel of grass underfoot so long ago. You are the foot that listens to Magister Timot's heart. Need a oh, hand? You are the hand. You are the hand that hurts, the hand that kills, the hand that bleeds them dry. You are the hand that listens to Magister Timot's head. Okay. Uh, is there anyone else here? I, I kind of blow on source points. But I know where to get some. Oh, yeah, you do. Magister Timor's journal. The fuck? Why does he have two journals? Is one not good enough for him? It's almost up on the high bookshelf. I don't know why. Same thing. Yeah. Magister's mottos. Purity of mind, order of society, discipline of body, loyalty to the divine. Potato porridge? Thanks. Alright. I guess I, I'll have to explain why, uh, why, uh, fucking she's not there anymore. Uh, the prisoner escaped. Go ahead, but be careful. Okay, I guess, uh, they don't care. I'm going back down to where, uh, where the fucking shit was. Oh, source I come. Yeah, I want to get some source come. Hey, this. Hey, look, there's the magister. Oh, hey. Oh, what, what happened the to you? The magister spirit looks up at you from a tortured face. His eyes are filled with pain and terror, and his hands grasp tight to each other, clenching and clenching harder and harder. In this, this, this dingy hole. T -t 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 to end my days here where I once toiled but oh how I prayed for an end at the end and I'm still praying admire the room and say you wish you had a cozy little playroom P play no I would never my whole life was for Lucian Every action of prayer to him. Ah, uh, there's nothing righteous about torture. For the glory of Lucian, there is no task unworthy. Here we turned our abominations into servants of the Lord. And the more p powerful the sorcerer, the better the geist they make. All the better to serve him. For him we pray always. Tom, you're here to answer his prayers. Consume the spirit's corpse. Lucian. L Lucian. I am your loyal servant. Why have you forsaken m me? Delicious. I need to get on the other side there again. Ah, oh, it's easy. Actually, you know how we break, you know, you know I what? see how to break through that. 
What? How? Oh, it's like, we find you. You just, you just, you just destroyed it? I just wandered it down. Oh, that's fucking what pussies do. I'm, I'm trying to get more fucking source snacks. Actually, why, why don't I just go to this fucking, this thing here? <laughs> Actually, is there any more snacks here? I guess not. Some barrels we never looted. Oh, high quality shadow essence. Do yeah, it's just because I came over here and so this is the blocked graining. Let's go do it. Fuck it. Oh, it's open now. Oh, we're in the prison. Let me out. Alright, I'm just gonna take a nap. I mean, there's one oh, over there too. Is. I'm just, we're just, uh, security, just, you know, testing the... Oh, Ox. Oh, hey, who are you? The spirit of a magister stands before you. He has one hand pressed to his abdomen. Silvery spectral blood oozes from between his fingers. It shouldn't hurt anymore, but it does. I swear it does. Tell me, have you seen a magister named Wainslow? Stout fella, a little loud. He helped me escape. When the paladins attacked, I'd hate to think any harm came to him. Uh, say so you know what happened to missing prisoners? They were taken so that the source could be harvested. Truly, I thought they'd just escaped. Can't let sorcerers keep their source. At least the matter's settled. I can rest easy now. Farewell. He's free now. My food. Where were we at? It's on the coast. Uh. Oh, nothing in there. Just empty. We can go this way. Well, it had some money in it, but that's about it. I want my Scooby Snork. Uh, that Scooby uh, Scooby snacks for source. I know. Let's figure we just go on the way. All right. Double them back. I know we want to go, because I want to go there too. Well. <laughs> do you need source too? <laughs> I do. Uh, let's go. Who's this fucker? Bound and blindfold, you are dragged through the darkness. The stench tells you you're in the sewers. Your dwarven captors are silent, but then a skittering, as of blades tapping on stone. Your captors stop, unsure. Screams rend the darkness. Silence falls, and then that sound again. Sticks dancing on stone. You tear the blindfold free, then wish you hadn't. The giant spider looms over you. Its jaws close upon your face. Scooby snacks. Terror grips the spirit as a blizzard you gonna eat him? upon it. Of course I am. A lifetime of love and laughter, of hopes and dreams, of secrets and lies, of courage and fear vanish in an instant. Alright. Now ah, we're trying to make it over there again. So yeah, standing one of the buttons in that room locked that door, which is annoying. Uh. But death fog. Dude, I like how we're spending like like literally like minutes going and getting more fucking sources. Oh, you know what? We're all sourced out. We need the source. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Not, I mean, I have to. Right, so I'm gonna get for the, I'm gonna get the wholesome source that's in the back. You can eat the spirits. Oh yeah, the wholesome source. This is what Sabiel likes. What, what are you, like a fucking, like, sorcerer vegan? Like the fuck? Dude, the source is more delicious so than something died. <laughs> Can you get the wholesome source? You must <laughs> see my mind's processed. <laughs> Alright, I'm done here. So, um, I guess we're done here. We can just go back to the city square because uh, we want to see. 
The elf gives you a slow clap. Clap, clap, clap. All right. The evil Isbel is dead. The doctor will see you now. Ah, uh, where's the doctor at? Permit me to mark it on your map. Do not tarry. He urgently desires to speak with the great red prince. Ask about the doctor. If you have to ask about the doctor, you're not ready to know. All right, you'll go see the doctor. The elf bows his head in thanks. You turn away. All right, so we're going to apparently go talk to the, uh, the doctor. I kind of want to go to the lizard consulate for like 10 episodes. Good, good. He's like, I'll mark it on your map, and I don't see it anywhere. Well, there's Kem's mansion, but... We'll go fuck around with the doctor. I mean, I don't know where he is, though. He's like, I'll mark it on your map, and then he fucking didn't do it. I'm gonna see what Lord Kem is up to. We, we, we know about his lies now. I mean, I would like to go fuck around with the doctor too, but I don't know why. It's whatever. All right. Well, if it isn't my better side, I hope we made the right decision. In the long run, mercy can be very costly. It may have escaped your notice, but we've just taken over an entire Magister barracks, and the whole place has to be searched. Well, what is it? Um. Ask Ask Krem how long he's been sworn to the God King. What the hell are you talking about? Just mention a name, Wendigo. Never heard of her. Now, please, take your lies someplace else. I advise you to take your slanderous fabrications elsewhere. Let the chattering drunks have their paranoid fantasies. Here, in the real world, there's work to be done. Ah, so he doesn't want to tell me anything. Is that all he's saying every time trying, every time trying he, to talk he, to him now? Well, he just denied the accusation. Honorable Dallas, madam, we lost a ship. Ah. Nothing interesting. I advise you to take. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Yeah, fuck it. I, I don't care. He just denied the accusation, but I mean, really? Would wouldn't you? you? Yeah, exactly. That's that. That's my thought. I have an idea. What? Save. Are you gonna heal him? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was thinking that too. And he took damage from that. Yes. Well, I mean, but everyone's trying to kill us, though. I mean, that's fine, it's fine. He's low, it's just a test. Well, well, I guess we know he was <laughs> speaking the truth. But, okay, don't don't they find that odd? He used a healing spell, and then he took damage. I, mean, I was more just curious myself if he was, at, like, if Wendigo was bullshitting us, or if it's actually... You know, he's a dead boy. <laughs> he's a dead boy. Oh, man. Uh, well, I, I honestly, I didn't have any doubt, but yeah, like, he would deny it, obviously. Like, I'm gonna guess that we need, like, some concrete evidence or something. Maybe we need to talk to someone else. And like the paladins be like, hey, he might be evil. And they can do some shit like that. Cast a, cast a healing spell at him, trust us. Tell what? <laughs> Poison his food, then feed him. <laughs> give him a healing potion. Oh, man. Fucking longest loading screen of my life. So let's see where the doctor was. There we go, let's go. Business doesn't stop for long round here. Oh. Well, hello, handsome. Care to hear about the power of cheese? I've got wheels and rounds and blocks and rolls and possibly more. But my wares are nuanced with undertones of something rare. What does she have in mind? She looks you up and down, then... What's on my mind? Hmm. 
Why, texture, maturity, taste. But most of all, I'm wondering what tickles your fancy. Looking at you, I think it may be power. Am I right? Sure. So I have not misjudged you. Now, we've established how you feel about power. How do you feel about law? Specifically laws relating to property and the acquisition of goods, hmm? Uh... I don't think I should do finesse. Probably memory. Uh, maybe, maybe wits. Or no, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do memory. Okay, get to the point you don't have all day. A glint appears in her eye, and she smiles. Then she raises her hands and shows you her rings. Perhaps this is the power you seek. I've been waiting for the right customer to come along for these, but I warn you, power doesn't come cheap. Even for someone as attractive as you. Uh, oh, there's shit. But honestly, it looked like something that we would have. <laughs> I wonder if they're ours. Uh, where did she come by these unusual wares? I have my little helpers. Here, there, and everywhere, who bring me things that they have found. After all, no one has as many friends as an elf with many cheeses. Are they stolen? Are they stolen? Darling, what power isn't? Alright, so some stolen rings. So, uh, so, oh, there's a great cat here. Uh, I wish we should end the episode now, actually, guys. So, Bear Rig, tell, tell me your secrets. Alright, so, I just I went to this person's house and just fucking... The fuck? What happened? What'd you read? I was just reading the sign outside. What did it say? I think this basically used to be a shop. This was a shop. When the going got tough, the tough went shopping. Alright. Oh, uh, peace out, guys. See ya. Peace out. Bill needs to stay here too. Yeah. Aw. Hey, why don't you go on the couch too? <laughs> and and maybe move a stool over here. <laughs> no, Beast doesn't get to sit on the couch. No, 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 it'll be fine. What? There you go. We'll be all be in the photo. Fuck. You need to separate. 